out of the body. Center for Consciousness Studies. Olá, eu sou Moisés Zagui e nós vamos apresentar para você o mini curso Hello, sobre reencarnação. Hello, my name is Moisés Zagui and we are going to present you the mini course on reincarnation. Center for Consciousness Studies has been doing some work in this sense in order to enlighten people. On the internet, we offer mini courses of which you can benefit. We have a mini course on laying on of hands with which you will learn a lot about energy, relationship and astral projection. Today, we are going to begin the course on reincarnation. What we will talk about on this topic, which I consider very important and rich to those who believe in reincarnation, is that you have to know how this process works, and we will show you the birth moment, the death moment, the physical journey in which you are here on earth and you have a lot to do. Then, we will also show that physical, post-mortem, journey, in which you meet yourself and will experience something that we will talk about in a clarifying way, even to demystify things that we have already learned. When I say that, I have also learned it this way, and I have been working, questioning, and reviewing in order to enlighten myself and those around me. This course is also open for you to send emails, questionings, ask questions in a peaceful way, and then we will try to talk about them, learning about it with you. Our mini-course on reincarnation aims to provide you with the understanding of your own life. We believe that our life is meaningless, I assume this is my point of view, if you simply were born and died, even if you produced something, things would just have ended there. This means that human evolution itself would not happen in the best way. You are born and you disappear. What would be the meaning of life if you, as a consciousness, were not able to go on a journey that would always provide you with more information and more knowledge, reviewing your mistakes, turning your life and everything you are into something different that can be very joyful and, more importantly, liberating. I think that the meaning of our lives leads us to the total freedom. Total freedom means that you are free even from yourself. And if you ask me, how can I be free from myself? You will find out over the course of this work, which is very serious and, due to the way we want things to be seen, we expose ourselves to criticism, and I hope this criticism is constructive, even though I honestly think that any criticism is always a reason for you to rethink and, somehow, analyze what you are talking about, what you have inside you. Feel free to show your criticism. When I say it can help a lot, it is because some of them can be really emotive, coming from people who do not accept it, coming from people who are not open to revisit what they already know. And I think that, to us, at Center for Consciousness Studies, this is not the best path. The best path is the one in which you question even yourself. So, you can even write in an email or come to one of the lectures we offer or even attend, and show us your idea, which can be one more light in this path that we take together. Here on Earth, we, 
a group of people who build fences and borders because of our ignorance, should remove these fences and borders one day in order to take a path together. This path together means that we will all help each other. This is very important in our lives. I think that we have to learn what is happiness, and happiness is not something someone gives you. It is an individual achievement, something we achieve throughout many reincarnations. Our reincarnations are a very important process, because you have your experiences and, if you really wish to review your life and grow, you will have time to do that. We take a path, and by the end of it, you say, God, how have I taken a whole life's journey? And let me tell you, this journey goes by very fast, even though we think it does not, it does. We live 70, 60, 80 years, it does not matter, you will see that, even if you live 100 or more years, it is very fast. It is very fast because we do not enjoy it, we do not produce anything that can continue. We always think in ourselves, we do not truly think that the other person really matters, and we will find out, one day, that the other person is actually ourselves. This is crucial for us to better understand the world, to treat each other with welcoming and care. Taking the journey of reincarnation is a challenge. Right now, as I talk to you, we are incarnate and reincarnate as well, obviously. It would be good if you thought about it. This is a happy moment in which you can do things, make decisions, move yourself and make changes. To make these changes, maybe you will have to put your beliefs, some conditionings aside, which we learn and repeat over and over again. So, you repeat things endlessly, throughout hundreds of reincarnations, and, today, if you could look back, you would see that things did not change that much. Our beliefs are inside us, and, at the end of the day, if the meaning is to evolve, why are we so fixed in our repetitions? Out of fear? Is that right? Due to lack of knowledge, ignorance? We will find out about this. I think it is very important that we go on a journey in which it is worth it that you are part of this moment of your physical life, with consciousness. There is something else that I must tell you. This physical moment is important because you find consciousnesses of all levels, which is really good. You will find people that are more or less evolved. At the end of the day, what else do we want? It is a wonderful moment, a moment of light, a moment where you can look at people, where you can contact them, learn, maybe even teach, exchange experiences, turn this world into a better, more beautiful world. We have to make this world much better than it is. We destroy everything, forests, rivers, the air, everything. At the end of the day, we think we are good. But I think it is a path that has to be taken and we have to find out how to evolve in order to become love. And then, with everything we move here on earth, we will think both in ourselves and in other people. I think it is very important for our growth and our happiness. The idea of offering this course on reincarnation is the result of many requests, people. Moises, why do you not talk about reincarnation, such an important topic for us, since you talk about many things, aura, psychosoma, mental body, chakras. Talk a little bit about reincarnation, because our lives will have a better meaning. Everyone who asked this, a lot of people, is right. Reincarnation is the path that we take. And I do not see that we have a final objective, it is not like, I will get to the Atman, to the Nirvana. This is part of the path, it is not the end of the story. Our story does not end, we always keep going, for sure, 
or else it would be meaningless if you knew that you were working, reincarnating, just to get to an end. I think that it is a good thing that we have an idea that this path is the most important one for us. This path must be taken lucidly, willingly, in good mood, good will, truthfully. With the honesty of everything we believe in and, sometimes, is even afraid of talking about, but offering room for those who, at the end of the day, also express their ideas, things we can think about. We always think we are right. This is not how it works. Only we are right. Many are right. Many. Maybe we find out, in the end, that everyone is right, but we could not put everything together and turn it into a wonderful truth. Let's learn together. Let's take that path and see what our lives will look like in the future. Today is the first day. Now get ready because the next day of the mini course on reincarnation is about birth. I will be talking about birth. So stay tuned. Do not miss the next video because we will move forward. See you. More on this topic. Refer to our study materials, astral projection, chakras, human behavior, clairvoyance, past lives, reincarnation, 